Hello everybody, welcome back. George Burns here. I'm going to show you how to make this Christmas card. This will be my last Christmas card this year. Um, although on Friday when you watch me make Christmas tags, that will be my very last Christmas video. And I thought as this was my last Christmas card, I would bring out Mr. Snowy. Hope you don't mind, but I have to use him. Forza brought out two new this year stamps. So for the sentiment and the snowflakes, I'm using Snowman Season. There's the snowmate, snowmate, snowflakes, and the Chris, Merry Christmas. And for the background, I'm using Textured Essentials. And I'm going to be using that. This is new to me as well. And I'm going to be using that. I've only got this because I do like the background bits. I'm changing the colour. I'm going to be using Garden Green and Pear Pizzazz on this card. So I've got a piece of a card blank of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Two pieces of white cardstock, one for the inside and one for the outside, and a piece of tartan for his hat and scarf. And I need a scrap of white for Mr. Snowy. Don't think I, no, nothing big enough there. That means. That's a big enough bit. Right, that's for the Mr. Snowy. And I'll tell you what, I forgot to bring over his die. Be back in a sec. And there's his die because we need to cut him out but will he go on here yes which is good so and I'm also using the die from Mr Snowy so let's get started we're going to do that we're going to put a sentiment inside and we need that so, let's stamp Mr. Snowy first on his scrap piece of paper. And I'll just put ink all over my thumb. Alright, stamp him down there. I think he's the Q in there. There we are. Oh no, I need that again. Because I need to do his scarf and his hat. Which I'm going to stamp on this tartan piece of paper. And we'll cut them out. them to one side for now to do the background so I've got my background stamp and my new pear pizzazz which I've not used because it's a I've just swapped it over from my old one some on it up my um, trying to see what way I stamped it but everything's in the way that side of me right do it this way so I'm gonna stamp one there I 
like that. And then another one underneath it. Like that. And then with, no, we can't do that just yet. We must stamp out, uh, cut out Mr. Snowy. going to go in. Yes. Bring that in. that like that and a bit of tape to keep it down and run it through the machine There. Get that out of the way. Right, we're going to place Snowy there. The reason why I want that is that joint there, I'm going to stick a snowflake on it. No plates. Put one there, one there, and one there. That's good. And then we're going to put Merry Christmas across the top. Like that. And just pray it straight. I like that. I think that's a bit dark, but we'll see once we get the tartan in and draw it all together. So we're just going to cut out this scarf. Hard to see on this paper. This is out of the plaid Christmas plaid paper that was in the uh, winter catalogue. Get on there and That bit. Oh, that's not too bad. Bringing that in. 
like that. So we'll glue this down. And we'll pop this on our card base. And we'll stick this on dimensionals, Mr. Snowy. So we'll have two on his hat. and place him on the card, preferably straight. Right, we've got the inside, did I do, yeah, I'll do this one, heartfelt memories, I can't remember what it says. Hoping this season, the season builds heartwarming memories. Seems to use this one quite a lot. Right, I've got ink on the side of that, so we'll do it again. Right, can't put it down with a smudge of ink on the side of it. Just as well, there's two sides to a piece of card, isn't it? All I've got to do is add some gems. As this is green, I shall add gold ones, which are here. And I'm just going to add one there, one there, and one there. And my husband's busy snoring away. He never fails. Sound of my boring voice puts him to sleep. Right. There we have it. Mr. Snowy's first and last appearance for 2020. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.